Throughout this demonstration, we will be showing you why eclipses, moon phases, seasons, and daytime and nighttime occur. The first thing we will go over is why daytime and nighttime occur. As the Earth rotates around the Sun, it is also spinning. As it spins, it puts part of the world in the direction of the Sun, but it places the rest of the world facing away into dark space. So without a light source, the part of the Earth facing into space is put into darkness for varying lengths of time depending on the season, which is what we call nighttime. The next thing we will go over is what and why eclipses occur. An eclipse is an astronomical event in which the moon will either go in front of, in front of or behind the Earth. The moon actually does this often, but it only causes an eclipse when it passes through the Earth-Sun plane at the same time. The Earth-Sun plane is the mathematical plane between the Earth and the Sun on which the Earth orbits. The moon orbits at an angle, so throughout the year the moon passes through the plane at different points in its orbit. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon goes between the sun and the earth at the earth-sun plane, leaving part of the earth in darkness because of the shadow of the moon. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon goes directly behind the earth at the earth-sun plane, going into darkness because of the earth's shadow. But as the earth does not block all the light, the moon will change into an interesting reddish color. As we move on to moon phases, we will talk about what they are and what causes them to occur year-round. A moon phase is how much of the moon that appears to be lit up by the sun. We have labeled the portion that is illuminated as eight moon phases. New moon, waxing crescent, waxing quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, waning quarter, and waning crescent. A full moon is when the entire visible portion of the moon is illuminated. A new moon is when none of it is illuminated. The sun is always shining from the center of the solar system. The earth is orbiting the sun, the moon orbits the earth, as it, and as it does, the angle of the sun's rays illuminates the close half of the moon, just like the earth's day and night. When the moon is behind the earth, but high or low enough relative to the earth's sun plane, the view from the earth is a full moon. The new moon is occurring often during the day, when the moon is between the earth and the sun, but not close enough to the Earth-Sun plane that it causes an eclipse. The moon orbits the Earth at a rate of 27.3 days, meaning we go through the this eight phases of the moon about every four weeks. This rate being slightly less than a month also allows a blue moon or two full moons in a month to occur. We will now go into the last subject in our demonstration, seasons. Seasons occur yearly mainly because of the tilt of the Earth but the orbit of the Earth also plays a major role in the varying seasons. Winter occurs when a certain hemisphere is tilting away from the sun, causing the sun's rays to hit less directly. Winter has lower temperatures, shorter days, and longer nights because the portion of the hemisphere in darkness is larger than usual. Summer occurs the exact opposite way, and actually occurs at the same time in the opposite hemisphere. When a hemisphere is angled closer to the sun, it can be hit more directly and stay in the light for longer. The Earth orbits at the sun at a rate of 365.25 days. Just like the phases of the moon, the season is determined by the, the Earth's position in its orbit. Winter for the north and summer for the south are followed three months later by spring in the north and fall in the south, as the tilt is relatively even and they both get the same amount of light. Three months later, the Earth is, in, uh, is on the opposite side of the Sun, and the seasons switch for the two hemispheres from the beginning of the orbit. The orbit continues, and after another three months, the North is in fall and the South is in spring. The cycle continues yearly.